On Saturday, the remaining celebrities will take to the Strictly Come Dancing dance floor in a bid to impress the judges. EastEnders actress Rose Ailing Ellis is currently the bookmaker's favorite to win the BBC competition, with AJ Odudu close behind her. BBC Breakfast presenter Dan Walker is also in the running to lift the Glitterball trophy. Looking back at the show's history, out of 18 Strictly winners, 8 of them, which equates to around 44%, have worked for the BBC. The BBC has denied such claims and a spokesperson for the broadcaster explained the winners are decided by a public vote. The Sun claimed out of the 264 contestants who have taken part in the show, 102 of them, around 39%, have worked for the broadcaster. Since the show began in 2004, BBC newsreader Natasha Kaplinsky, Holby City star Tom Chambers and presenter Ora Duba have all won the series. Presenter Stacey Dooley is the most recent BBC star to lift the Glitterball trophy with her now boyfriend Kevin Clifton. Former EastEnders stars who have also won the competition are Jill Halfpenny and Kara Toynton. Despite there being success with BBC stars winning the show, in 2019, former Emmerdale actor Kelvin Fletcher rose to victory with OTI Mabuse. In response to the recent analysis, a spokesperson for the BBC hit back these statistics are misleading. The winner of Strictly is decided by the public vote. This year, there are five BBC stars still in the running to win Strictly, EastEnders star Rose, breakfast host Dan, and CBBC presenter Reese Stevenson, CBBC chef Tilly Ramsey, and Dragon's Den star Sarah Davies. They are competing against chef John Waite and presenter AJ Odudu. The statistics come after Dan responded to fix claims on the show. During Tuesday's BBC Breakfast, Dan discussed the latest news headlines with his co-star Sally Nugent. As the pair looked through some newspaper headlines, an article about Dan caught Sally's eye. She revealed the story was questioning why her co-star is still in the competition after some viewers claimed it was a fix at the weekend. Dan was quick to respond to the claims, as he explained why he believed he was still in the competition. The presenter began, I think the best way to answer that is that I had a chat with a lovely fellow called Cecil in the park when I walked the dog on Sunday. Cecil came up and I've seen him a few times and he came over and had a chat and he said, do you mind if I have a chat with you about something? I said, no, fire away. He said that his wife, he didn't tell me her name, but his wife died 30 odd years ago and they used to dance together and he said that he stopped dancing when his wife died. Dan continued, then he said, I've watched Strictly this year for the first time in a long time and he said, watching you and Nadia, like the enjoyment you get from dancing even though you're not a dancer and you've never danced before. He goes, I've loved watching that so much that he's gone back and he's started having lessons again. So, that's what the program's all about isn't it? Dan added. Dan's comments also come after Adam Peaty's mom, Caroline claimed the show was a total fix after her son and Katya Jones were eliminated from the competition.